Welcome back to a foggy afternoon or evening, night. It's actually night time <laughs> in Satisfactory. And today we're going to be sorting out computers because I've already been running these these belts. Uh, between the episodes, I ran an extra sort of splitter here. And we've got, uh, well, a very fast belt. But we've got a very fast belt that is bringing us iron ingots. And you can see the other belt is already dealing with uh, copper ingots. So we have both of those coming around the back here. Uh, they're both going to come around to the relevant building. This one is probably going to be screws, I imagine. And uh, yeah, we may have to sort out that rock. But otherwise, yeah, we've got iron ready here. So one of the things we need is screws. The next thing we need is cable. And we do already have a wire factory here. So I've got another splitter coming out of our wire factory. And then bringing wire over here to a place that we can build cable. So uh, that is pretty good and then over here we've got our third ingredient we've got circuit boards which are already being made kind of handily with what we did last episode and we just needed uh, plastic for those and we needed wire and of course they're going into that side and we'll tidy that up later and then finally we just going we're just going to need plastic itself so we're going to need to have a splitter off these so why don't we just get that splitter just put in place and uh, for now let's just attach it to this belt if it will if it will actually attach oh, this isn't a straight belt so it's probably not going to like it uh yeah why don't i just rework the output of this then to make sure that, that will like it so let's just get this sorted we just need a splitter and we need to rotate this like that okay and that means I can just reattach this side to there, where it was before. And then this side is fine wherever I bring it to. Uh, it is just an output. And that is going to bring us plastic. So plastic, uh, circuit boards. Uh, which one was this? <laughs> is it cable? Cable, yes. And then screws. All four of those will go into a manufactory and that will enable us to make computers. So manufacturer, I should say. Can't afford. I'm short of cable. Well, it's a good thing. We're about to make cable, isn't it? Um, yeah. So why don't we start with that? Uh, that just needs one input. So that should be easy as a constructor or two. Uh, we can just start with uh, with one running and, you know, obviously we'll scale the others up the same way we have done with other other such factories. Uh, just so that, um, you know, we don't have to worry about doing a lot on camera of, of scaling. You've already seen that in the other buildings. You know exactly how that actually sort of works. Uh, and in order to make sure that that happens, I'm just going to take this back a little bit and we're going to make sure we feed it into one side of the building just so I end it with sort of a stackable approach where possible. Nice, uh, nice and available. So let's just make sure it goes to there. Uh, it's going to be on the ground, I think. And then on this side, we're going to want it going uh, probably. Well, I need to basically line it up with this more than anything else. Um, about there and about there that's a guess let's see how close my guess is that's nice it's 90 degrees and that's nice that's 90 degrees yes i may have mentioned this in other videos as well but if you've seen my automation empire series you know automation empire lets you place 90 degree belts really nicely uh it would be nice if satisfactory allowed you to do that as well um it isn't always it's it's a bit finicky and I would like some kind of mode, if that's possible, to be able to do that kind of thing. Anyway, there is a new big update coming out, uh, basically, uh, I need, don't need a merger, I need a splitter. Uh, coming out, um, you know, early next year, I imagine. So that will hopefully do the job here. And we'll just have that going in. And because this is only one input, then for the moment, I don't need those, those walls. Again, as I said before, they are buggy when you've got the conveyor points in the walls. Uh, I would love to use them because they make it look much better, but they just don't attach well. This is probably enough room to actually do it, but very often they don't actually attach well. So, yeah, um, I would love to see those being bug fixed. Regardless, cable, and that just needs wire and power, of course, as you might expect for any such machine. Um, why don't we just put power in the middle here or something like that? And then we'll have to figure out how to get power to the outside, but that's not as much of a big deal. How far across? One, one further this way. And then is power just going to run the back? Looks like it. Yeah, that's... Mm, 
want something that won't cause problems with the building. So I want I just put a power pole out here. And then we'll just connect everything up. There we go. Alright, so cable should come out this side. And we can route it however we want to. Uh, in this case, where we put the manufacturer is sort of up for grabs, really. I mean, obviously in the middle of all four of these might be useful. But at the same time... Eh, yeah, we're going to need supercomputers eventually. So we're going to need some space to take the computers and head elsewhere. So what I'm just thinking is maybe, 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 maybe have the manufacturer down here. Because the, the plastic's right there. And then we'll just feed all the others out onto nice, neat belts coming out of each of these buildings and straight towards our manufactory, uh, manufacturer. Ugh, I want to call it a manufactory. It's, it's just one of those things. Okay, so that's uh, hopefully going to give me plenty of cable for me to build one. Manufacturer? Mm, not plenty of cable. I need six more cable. Uh, build me six more. Three? Well, maybe I can just make more at uh, the craft bench. I always end up doing this. I, know, I keep saying it every time, but I always end up doing it. <laughs> it's one of those things. I'm permanently short of cable. And uh, that's more than enough. Okay, so manufacturer. And uh, this is, as usual, huge. So we're going to need four inputs. I mean, to decide where to put those inputs uh, doesn't much matter as far as this is concerned. I think, I think I'm just going to put it, um, just align it with the back of this belt here so that I don't... Uh, end up going too far across. How's that looking? Uh, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so uh, we could indeed just line that up there. Okay, nice down to the corner. And then everything else we can sort of feed in here. What I think I might do is have a look at some stacked belts here because we could go. Uh, where's my stack belts? I haven't really used them as much as I said I was going to do in the early part of the playthrough, but I do like the conveyor pole stackable, these particular things. So if I have these, I need to be far enough away that I can connect things. But once the first one's in, okay, the rest can actually go like this. So we can just think about putting them like there, here, and if it's close enough, ah, oh, just just too steep. That needs to be moved one further away. So let's just place another one down. Uh, one further away, maybe. Let's say two further away, just because. Okay, and let's just drag these back for a second. And I should use the multi-select mode, but uh, this is fine. Let's try the top one first. Yep, you're fine, which means you will also be fine. And uh, you are going to be just fine as well. So yeah, could do something like that. That looks pretty much okay for me. I suppose the only other thing you could do to improve it is sort of having all four off that like that. That looks pretty nice. I'm 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 sort of ambivalent really. <laughs> I'm not sure there's any particular way to make belts look any better than any other. Uh 90 degree corners would look great, but at certain points I would just be running lots of separate lines down here. Hmm. I think I want to have lots of separate lines. This is a nice idea, but I'm not an artistic. I'm more of the engineering mindset. 90 degree corners. Okay, I think this looks a lot better. If we just go down to here. Oh, and onto the top, well, onto the manufacturer. Uh, yes, well, all these look a lot nicer. I do like that approach rather than anything else. Um, we have heavy modular frames. No, we're going to go for computers. Or maybe an alternate computer recipe. If anyone does know if there is one, um, let me know what it is below if you do have it in your game. Otherwise, we need 10 circuit boards, 12 cable, 18 plastic, and 60 screws. So that uh, will start accepting stuff. As soon as this thing gets power, as soon as it gets all of its ingredients. Uh, well, let's just connect the power up for a second. Uh, how are you doing? You're doing fine. Okay, and it's feeding all of its inputs apart from screws. So we just need to get another screw factory, which again, we'll go with something simple to start with uh, and we'll get some more screws as time goes on. Uh, so we are going to probably just align everything here. And uh, just for the sake of alignment more than anything else, I just want to put one of these walls in, uh, conveyor walls. And uh, we'll put one in this side as well, just so I've got some alignment point. If it doesn't connect, we can also take it back out. 
And then we just want uh, something equally sort of sort of centered here with constructors, just as we've done before, really. Uh, we've got the, the input coming this side, so we're probably going to just reroute it into this wall. Not that it matters which wall we're actually going to come in on, on each of these um, whatsoever, really. So that's going to be centered around there. So, yeah, we just need to make sure that, you know, the input's on this left side here and uh, we're able to bring that in. So let's just take that out, take you out, and then we'll just reroute everything to where it needs to go. So, well, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> this rock is going to annoy me. Uh, can I just attach this here? I can. Does that mean I get an attachment point? It looks like I do. Ignore the rock. Um, we need sort of so, some kind of detonation... Uh, explosives, but I don't think we get them until we've researched Caterium a little bit more, so I'll have to deal with this for the moment. But it's fine. It's fine. It's acceptable because it's immovable, and I can't do anything about that. So I feel fine. Uh, honestly. Um, yes. Uh, let's get that going this way. There we go, and we need to make sure it's connected in the right fashion. Yep. Okay. And this is going to be uh, screws. Oh, I just forgot. Yeah, it's not screws. It's rods. And then from rods, it needs to be screws. But I need to feed them back through. And we ended up with this situation before where it needed this wig kind of sort of jig where it comes out of this all the way around the back and then at the, at the front again. So it's all like a loop. Um, is there any way for me to actually fix that? I don't think there really is. Because it needs to come in somewhere... And then I, need, I want it to be stackable, so I would like the output on a consistent size, it aside if it's all possible. So, yeah, I don't think... Oh, that would make it a, a long building if we had one of these feeding into the next one. Um, that's one option, you know. That's one option for a screws building that makes more sense. Uh, let me just put one in for a second. Let me just put a um, one of these machines in, a constructor. And if we have them connected right next to each other like that... Feeding in, and let's just say screws for this one. Yes, it's not lined up with the rest of the buildings. I I, I understand. It is going to be larger, but uh, compared to that other building that we had before, it may be worthwhile building on a sort of. Is it going to be a four by four grid? Yeah, it's going to be four by four, something like that, or three four by three. Uh, I just want to see what the these take as far as um, not power, but in terms of throughput. Why don't we just get uh, one here? Okay, and is there any way I can connect to temporarily, um, or even permanently? Can I, can I jump over? Yeah, I can jump over. That's that's nice. Okay, let's just put it there. And then where's the next next power pole? There, that'll do. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, we need 15 per minute, and uh, we output 15 per minute. So yeah, they're perfectly balanced if you have one into the other. So I, even though I don't like the lack of a square building here, I do like the the ease of use of putting one straight into another. Um, that's massively outweighing the sort of lack of uh, lack of a square building for me, at least. At least to be able to build something pretty fast is good. Uh, so why don't we just put that there? And then screws are going to come out this... Oh, in fact, that's, that's where the screws are going to come out. Let's just put that away. Okay. And then we'll we'll deal with the other side. That doesn't need to go there. We'll just have a splitter merger. Back at the front again. Logistics, uh, this merger, this case. There we go. And we need to merge going that way. Okay, can we actually get one of those walls in here without it causing problems? Might be far enough away. Just. Production, uh, walls, wall conveyor. Uh, it's in the wrong place, but yeah, that's that's the other problem with it. <laughs> I'll just leave it where it is. Um, and then we'll just bring the belt out here and make sure I have this connected up properly. Um, I'm going to need to place it in the right place. Be quite careful about placing uh, on this. Nope, that's the wrong place. Needs to be one further across. <sighs> no. Forgot I'm going around a corner. 
need to deal with this differently. Yep. I will get this right eventually. There we go. And the same thing's true here uh, whenever you go around a corner. So I'm going to need to go, I think, there. And then, where, where is it? This way, there. Okay, so if I just feed it out to uh, something here, like this. Okay, then this should turn a 90 degree. Yep. And then there. Cool. That's screws. And that's everything done. So this should be computers and nothing else. I'm, for the moment, just going to put them in a box. And we're going to put them in a box, bringing it the, the other way. Um, am I out of... I'm out of rods. I just make a few, uh, one rod. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, and that is enough. So I'm going to have the output on the other side. Uh, the input on the other side, I should say. And let's have it like that. Have it something like this. It's horrible. I see the problem with with bringing these belts out of out of like this this whole alignment. It just never works to be perfectly square. It's somewhat annoying, and by somewhat it depends on what kind of person you are as to how much that annoys you. In my case, a fair bit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need more steel beams. That's our first computer, though. So the first computer will basically let us make more computers, and those computers, in turn, uh, will let us make more manufacturers. And the manufacturers are the things that are sort of are really quite expensive at this point in time. But as you can see here, we're making just under two computers per minute. We can boost this with a power shard if we want to, uh, like this. So if I drop one in, and I can take this up to whatever that, that's going to increase in a second once it figures out how many it can actually produce. Yep, so we can go to just under three per minute if we can feed in enough of the inputs. Now, right now, it's more than happy to be feed the inputs. Now, I want to get a commenter saying, um, you know, all this organization is well and good, but when you need, like, a, a large supply of something, not having, like, uh, maybe some kind of buffer or not having a large excessive supply, it's not a good idea because <clears throat> you're going to need to, to, to have a lot uh, of oversupply to which I would say that if you have a stackable design you don't need oversupply because you can stack it now that's only to a point that's to the, the point where you buy the belt coming out of that building uh, currently our maximum tier is tier 3 if that is full you're stuck you have to start a new building so that's the only problem with, with stackable designs they work until you run out of belt and then you either try and get another belt out of the building <laughs> the same the tier 3 belt and take it out of another wall that's another option if your input can handle it your input belt uh, otherwise uh, yeah you, you're sort of stuck there you have to start a new building however I don't agree in general with the concept of buffer boxes I have them you can see I have them all over the place but you shouldn't need them as long as you're producing more than the input of the next machine. So as long as you keep are able to keep scaling, you will be able to take it down the line and not have a problem. Uh, all the buffer box really is, or oversupply, if you want to think of it that way, is just that um, it's, it's sort of like a, a delayed effect. You can't tell that you're not doing things right until you, your buffer box runs out. And as soon as that runs out, then then you immediately know you're out of uh, you're, you don't have enough supply. So I instead would probably want to just make sure I have enough supply in the first place. You'll see here, for instance, we've only got this one refinery. It's huge. Even putting it in a building is almost seeming a little bit um, silly. But I could put another story in there to generate more uh, more uh, plastic. What I may well do the, these two end ones is more. More likely, put them both in the same massive building. You see, the, um, that would break my rule about keeping one resource output per building where possible. But at the same time, um, I could even get like three or four of these next to each other or something like that and just have them outdoors. It's one of those, they're just cumbersome. The giant, giant buildings, just like the manufacturers, um, they're almost like a building in themselves because they're just so immense. Um, so putting them in walls, yeah, it doesn't really seem to help all that much. So I need to go and get some, uh, I need to go and get some more steel beams, and that will let me continue to construct um, the rest of the belt needed to feed that box. 
Now, until the overclock are back out of it for now, that's more power efficient not to actually use them if you don't need to. And we've got basically, um, yeah, uh, all of the inputs going in here. You'll see the screws belt isn't full, uh, but uh, it is getting there. I did actually create uh, basically four machines in that first building over there. Uh, so I have two pairs of, of machines producing screws, basically. And everything else you can see, these move in. Uh, what we're going to need for our next tier from our space elevator is a thousand computers. A thousand. That's a lot of computers. I've got... How many have I got? 21. 21 computers. <laughs> I'm going to need more. I'm going to need a lot more. Uh, however, our oil is level 3 all the way from our oil pumps, so it's certainly not a problem with those. Uh, we got rubber probably just piling up here. Yep, this box is full. Uh, I, I clearly don't need the rubber right now. What I actually do perhaps, or I'm perhaps going to need, is maybe plastic? Yeah, so I'm just going to take this buffer box out now. I want to see that I have a problem straight away if needed. And you'll see I've got it splitting off and it's going in two ways. One of it is producing the circuit boards. The other is just going straight into here. So if this is a shortage, I want to know about it as quickly as possible. And that's going to be pretty good for me. Uh, what I may even do is just straighten this output a little bit just to bring the splitter here or something. But eh, it's fine where it is for now. Okay, so that's uh, fine for now. Uh, what else should we do while we can? So let's just check on this. Uh, I have 500 motors already done. The motors actually get, get made pretty quickly. Our computers are now, you know, well, <laughs> being made a little bit. Um, but we need a thousand of them. And then we've got heavy modular frames, which is the other thing. Now, if you have a look at the recipe there, there are a couple of different recipes. Uh, we want the bottom one, of course, the alternate recipe. So we want the encased beams the steel pipes, uh, the concrete, and the, the modular frames. Now, because that is a whole bunch of, I mean, we need, uh, this is gonna be a thousand. So let's say, let's just assume it's 900, close enough. So that's just gonna basically need, um, so, uh, well, we're gonna get 300 for 100. So 300 lots of this recipe. So we're gonna need, a, what, uh, 300 times eight, so 2400 modular frames um, and obviously we're nowhere near there however i don't necessarily need to bring this out on a belt anywhere because it's going to take time to work through those and these are just going to continually being made you can see we've got modular frames here uh they're being produced we don't have a shortage on our inputs i mean we are getting rods slower than before because they're being taken off uh, elsewhere but um we can always improve that by upping the, the rod building uh so yeah they, they are constantly being produced however all of the other uh, in uh, materials are all up here um so if we, they're all up here we should probably put a manufacturer up here can i not just chainsaw you chainsaw yeah, chainsaw. Nope, that's not a chainsaw. That's a chainsaw. There we go. One chainsaw. Let's put my zapper back. So yes, uh, let's just get another craft bench up here. Um, craft bench, just in case I need one in future. So we've got steel beams here that's being made. Uh, I occasionally just grab them. We're not producing a huge amount, and I th the amount of level 3 belt I'm actually consuming just tends to, tends to use all of my... Oh, wow. <laughs> tends to use all of my steel beams quite quickly. Uh, these steel pipes are full. Our input is entirely full. This box is entirely full, which we don't really need anymore once we have this processing. We have our beams here, and that's got a third of a box already, and we have our concrete here as well. So uh, while I don't want to build that way because space elevator and everything else, uh, or maybe we should, um, I may get into fear of that river. That's the only thing. I don't think we are. I think we're able to get... Yeah, we can probably reroute this a little bit. So I want to just put down some foundation and we'll just um, build a new manufacturer on this side. Uh, I'm going to just move this this box though, because this is steel beams and steel beams, to be honest, I'm fine with the box being on um, just for me to manually pick up. That is, uh, I just want to put it like here. OK, and then we'll do our usual thing with these. Okay, and one to there, one to there. Uh, why wouldn't you connect? 
Oh, that's the output. Whoops. Organization. Uh, I want the input facing this way. Oh, I moved it in the last second. Come on. Stupid mouse. Nothing to do with my hands whatsoever. So yeah, that, that's nice and compact. And that leaves me room then to deal with these. So we're going to need to split these anyway because they're going down over there. And that's producing... Uh, what are we actually producing over there? Uh, clearly we're out of power or something. What are we out of here? Uh, no power. Why is there no power for this thing? Did I disconnect them from something? Okay, how odd. Uh, what else is this supposed to be producing? Oh, okay, so I don't necessarily... Uh, no, I do actually need those because the, the motor line is on. Does that mean it stopped making motors? Probably has, you know? Yeah, it has stopped making motors. Okay, that would explain it. Uh, yes, and I do need motors. I have 500 already in the uh, space elevator. That's another six, that's 600, pretty much there. So I need 400 more rotors, uh, motors even, and it doesn't take all that off, uh, that long to actually do them. So that means we're going to need to leave that line as it is. However, we're able to then feed in lines from both of these. Eventually this will go away, so I can even move it. And we can just put some more foundations down. So give me a second to put that foundation, foundation down, and I'll bring you back for the second manufacturer of today's episode. So our foundations are in, you can see it's a new giant section here, and uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the same thing as previous, but I have all the, uh, all the inputs for this on the sort of left hand side of this, and we'll sort of feed everything else uh, in if I need to, around the back, or the sort of the right hand side. So if we just bring that up one, okay, so this input I'm going to reserve for our modular frames, and we can probably even feed it in with the belt from there, to be honest, there's plenty of room to do so. And then on our output, we can probably, again, I'm just going to want to, to box this. Uh, yes, it will go straight into the, the space elevator, but I may want them for other things. So I'm not just manually, uh, manually, I'm not going to automatically just dump them into the space elevator. A thousand is not much to carry in your inventory, so I do definitely just want just some kind of box, just because I'm going to be grabbing them by hand. That's really where boxes uh, become really quite useful here. So I'm just going to feed them in just as we did before on the other one. Uh, let's put it there, okay, and then we'll just designate this, so it's the heavy modular frame recipe, I'm going to need all of these, so modular frames, encased industrial beams, steel pipe, and concrete, and we can be able to fetch all of those from the relevant container, uh, however the containers are all mismatched all over the place, but um, you get the idea, I can just do something temporary and clean it up later. And here you see all our inputs, the beams, the pipes, the concrete, all coming in on parallel lines. Very nice. That one had to go over the top, unfortunately, just the way they had the, the stuff laid out all, all already. But other than that, everything's coming in quite nicely. And on this side, you can see the only thing we're waiting for is modular frames, of course, which I can feed in quite happily. And this is going to start producing heavy modular frames, just as we did before when we did things manually down at the bottom. But in this case, now everything is going to work automatically. So uh, once I get enough uh, sort of materials here, uh, maybe if I just bring it down, uh, but let's just put it where everything else is. So if I just think about doing this automatically, I can have everything be on parallel, except that this this kind of input, I'm just going to bring in from around the side, uh, like this, okay? And then we can just feed this in sort of here. Okay. I can go in there. Go in there. I'm running out of steel beams rapidly. <laughs> really really rapidly uh but we can actually get this, this sorted uh and that uh should be that and then we just need to feed in from this side wherever i manage to get steel beams from and we'll just feed in all the way to uh to here or something like that okay is that long enough though is it just me gonna be out of yeah i can't afford but it is long enough so now i actually need to link that output to this input and then away it goes and then of course <laughs> coming out of here but this is the same thing as before uh we just have to set things up in the right sort of uh, place so yeah i'm pretty happy all right so that seems to be a good leaving point for the end of the episode and uh we can get everything else sorted once i end up with more steel beams 
and uh, pretty good. So we've got a manufacturer producing heavy modular frames, another manufacturer producing computers way over there, you can just about see it, and that's pretty much all of the three components we need for the next tier. The rest is going to be a largely a sort of scaling procedure really. We've got 130 there plus, well, none in my inventory. So let me just dump them into the space elevator. I don't need motors that often, but I am going to need some of the other stuff. So maybe we'll look at some more scaling next episode and uh, see what we need to do to do that. But in the meantime, we're up to two thirds or close enough to two thirds of our motor supply. And both of these are now automatic aside from just the belt to link the two together uh, from down here. So I'm pretty happy. Okay, if you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoyed the series, give us a thumbs up. Always helps on YouTube with the rankings and algorithms and everything else. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell if you want notifications for more episodes of Satisfactory and other such similar games. And uh, we'll see you next time. As always, guys, thanks for watching.